Okay, so this is pretty much going to be step by step on how to fabricate a bracket to mount an alternator on that Farmall Cub. Uh, first thing you do, uh, first thing I'm going to do, I got a piece of a quarter inch thick by one inch wide flat stock from my uh, metal supplier, and I hacked off six inches and I cleaned up the edges for burrs. That's the first thing. Okay, so I lost the footage of the next little clip. Uh, so the next step, take your six inch piece of metal, mark up from one end, two and three quarters, heat it up, put a 90 degree bend in it. Yeah, the two and three quarter inch mark is not crucial. So if you're a little off one way or another, that's okay. We're gonna cut it to length on both sides. Step, measure up from, you're gonna have one long side, you're gonna have one short side, and again, that, that two and three quarters was not important. That just makes sure you got enough on both sides. Um, so your long side is gonna be your base. That's gonna be down. That's gonna get the two bolts through it. This is where the alternator itself is gonna sit. So you wanna measure up from this plane, from the bottom, what will be the bottom of the bracket, inch and three quarters, put a mark and cut it off right there. We want this to be an inch and three quarters up off the base. If we come over here, we want the bracket to be an inch and three quarters from the from the base here. Okay, so we got our short side trimmed to inch and three quarters. Next thing we want to do, measure down from the top here, one half inch, mark a dot, and we're going to drill a three eighths inch hole. So next step is going to be cut another piece of this quarter inch by one inch wide stuff at two and a half inches long. Mark it in the center at an inch and a quarter. We're going to heat it at an inch and a quarter, and we're going to put a 90 degree bend in it. Okay, so just like that first corner that we made, uh, the, the length on this is not important so much as uh, just getting a good 90 degree bend. So uh, you want to, after you get your good 90 degree bend, you want to make one side from the outside, like if this was standing up, you want that, that vertical dimension to be an inch and an eighth on one side, and on the other side, you want it to be about an inch and a quarter. And again, that's this outside. Okay, so the next step is gonna be get a stack of washers exactly the thickness of the alternator uh, lower mount there. Okay, next step, I got my uh, inch and a quarter side. I wanna lay that on my hole. Now this is, again, this is the lower mounting hole of the alternator. I wanna lay that on there. I wanna give myself just a little bit of wiggle room here. Not much, cause this is, you know, the alternator is gonna pivot around on this. So I wanna give myself just a little bit of wiggle room. I wanna kinda of center that up left to right. And I'm gonna reach up under there with a Sharpie and mark through the hole in the alternator. And we're gonna go drill that, that uh, mark, 3 8 inch drill bit again. Okay, next step. Chuck it up in your vise like I got it here. Remember your stack of washers now is uh, sitting in place of the alternator. So when you put that in the vise and tighten it down, you know, essentially this is, uh, you know, this is the same shape that you want it to be for the alternator. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and weld that right on there. Uh, the bolt that I have in here is just long enough where it doesn't penetrate completely through. So I'm able to force this little bracket hard down against this stack of washers. So I'm gonna weld that and then I'll get right back. Okay, so after you get your bracket welded up, just go ahead and uh, stick it on the alternator, run a bolt through it, set it on your tractor, stick your belt on the pulley. We're gonna try to use the same belt. Um, so put your belt on the pulley, set your alternator up, you know, get it. Get your attention, you know, kind of where you think it's, you know, nice and lined up and everything. And then lift it up a little bit and slide it back. You just got to be real gentle with this. And uh, you're kind of eyeballing stuff. But, you know, kind of get it right where you want it. And then slide it back and mark your holes. And we'll transfer those marks on the side here. We'll transfer them up to the top. And we're going to drill 3 8 holes there again, too. Okay, so I stuck the hood on there uh, just to see how this bracket's gonna work and see if I need to uh, get another belt. And I'll tell you, it's, man, it's so close. You know, I got my, I drilled my holes and I just mounted the bracket and I stuck the alternator on there. I don't have my upper bracket made yet. We're gonna still go through all that, but 
you know, I'm pulling on the pulling on the alternator here, and I mean, oh man, it's just so close. And I don't know. We might be able to get away with with that belt. We'll uh, we'll keep on keeping on here. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna have to fabricate the uh, bar for the top mount here. And the issue you run into is uh, it's not a straight line. You know, we're gonna have to bolt it down there and then we gotta make a bend here at the top of the alternator. And I'm gonna guess it's about, I don't know, shit. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take a guess about like a 30 degree bend we're gonna have to make right there. So uh, cut you a bar nine inches long. That's how long this is and I measured up two and three quarter inches from the end and put a mark and that's going to be where I heat with a torch and that's going to be the center of my bend and I'm, I don't know I'm going to shoot for I guess about 30 degrees. Okay so I got uh, the upper uh, uh, bar bent and uh, got it also marked. I measured up a half an inch and I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole there and I'm going to use a quarter inch bolt uh, 7 16 head and just through bolt that it's got metric threads in it, uh, and rather than drill it out and run like a 5 16 bolt in there, a 7 16 uh, or excuse me, a quarter inch bolt fits in there pretty snug, so I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, there's not a whole lot of pressure on this, you know, this upper portion of it, so, um, you know, a quarter inch bolt through there is going to do just fine. Um, we're going to bolt this side static here because we're so close to the hood, I don't want it, I don't want that slide bar sticking out, so... We're gonna let it slide on the other end, and uh, there's at least an inch and a half of uh, room on the other side of that bolt, so there's plenty of room for a slide over there. So I'm gonna drill this, and then I'm gonna set it up here, and we'll mark for the other side. Okay, so there's the original uh, upper upper bracket. Uh, it's got about two inches of slide on it, and that's a lot. It may not show up in this video, um, but that's a lot of slide on here. and. Uh, I don't know what, I mean, I don't honestly expect to ever need that much, so uh, as long as you're reasonably close on your belt sizes when you're replacing them, you should be good. We're going to go with an inch and a half, so um, essentially I, I put the bracket in there, I bolted it on the one side, you know, on the alternator, and then I mount, or I marked right where that hole is falling, That's this is uh, currently where the hole would fall right there, um, so I just marked three quarters of an inch on either side. That'll give us an inch and a half of, uh, you know, adjustment in there all together, which should be way, way plenty. And I'm going to do that with the uh, 5 16 bit. Uh, it's a 5 16 hole right now. So um, I'm going to drill just a series of holes down through here and probably just wreck it with a drill bit. You know, it ain't going to be pretty, but uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, uh, I guess I shouldn't assume anything. Uh, when I say drill a series of holes and then wreck them, uh, you can tell I've wrecked the bottom three holes here. Uh, those two there have not been wrecked yet. What I mean by that, uh, or waller them out, you know, whatever you want to say. Um, you, uh, you know, drill your holes, drill a series of holes, and then stick your bit in there and just waller it out. I mean, it ain't pretty, you know, just up and down and, and break the, you know, break the metal up between the, the holes there. You could do this on a drill press if you wanted to. But man, that would be dangerous. So, um, you know, do this at your own risk. Uh, I guess probably a safer way would be, you know, take a torch or plasma cutter or something and cut you a slot there. So here's our upper bracket finished. I'm gonna mount it up. Okay, so we got a little bit of an issue here. There's about, oh, I don't know, quarter inch gap down there between the, uh, uh, the, the upper bracket and the water pipe, uh, the mount. And uh, originally I didn't think that'd be a big deal, but I, I put the bolt in and started tightening it up and I'm noticing that it's torquing the alternator and it's, you know, it's making me concerned that the belt's gonna wanna jump off. So uh, I'm gonna shim between the two pieces here to get them trued up. I'm just gonna stick some washers up in there. I guess if a guy wanted to, you could put a dog leg in the bracket here, you know, and I'm just gonna shim it with these uh, washers. Uh, put a little bit longer bolt in there and it'll be just fine. Okay, so there's our alternator uh, all mounted up. Uh, I end up not trimming the end off of that uh, lower bracket. Um, it, it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, it's not getting in the way, so I'm not. I'm just not going to go through the trouble of trimming that off. Um, you know, don't look bad up under there. So uh, the upper bracket, uh, it's holding it real good. The belt looks like well, it's hard to see on the camera here. It kind of looks a little wacky, but uh, actually the belt looks pretty true on there. 
Uh, we'll find out when I go to stick the hood up under there if I'm going to be able to get away with this belt. I hope to, just because, again, I'm a tight ass, you know, and I don't like to buy parts if I don't have to. Um, so hopefully the hood will fit on there. If not, I get a belt that's maybe an inch, you know, an inch shorter or something. That'll draw that alternator back in, and it'll clear the hood for sure then.